Dive into the chaotic realm of Karens causing chaos in fast food restaurants. From demanding to speak to managers to making scenes over minor inconveniences, get ready for a wild ride. Take a look at this enraged Karen in Starbucks who decides to wreak havoc by throwing things from the counter at the employees and even trying to engage in a physical altercation with them. What's even crazier is that this Karen and her friends have done similar things at other Starbucks locations too. Please find this They and their two friends have been harassing different Starbucks locations throughout the Fiji district in Nick. McDonald's staff told this Kevin to leave because he was causing trouble. But instead of leaving, he acted like a kid and started throwing his fries around. Then he demanded the employees clean up the mess he made, while also kicking stuff and making a huge mess in the restaurant. I don't care. Obviously you don't. No, I don't care. You swear. Get out. All right. Yeah, Get out. Right here. It's on you. No, this is on you. It's on you, pal. It's obviously on you. Pick obviously. that up. Obviously. Yeah, camera. Pick that up. Now get out. Camera. Get out. Get it on camera. Jason Miller. That's the name. Did you get that? Jason Miller. Write it down. Write it down. Mitch. Beaverton. Write it down. Get out. Emac. Bien, no te acerques. Bien. Check out this scene where a Karen and Kevin get into it with a guy who's filming the McDonald's drive through They ask him to stop, but he refuses, saying it's public property. Things heat up when Kevin steps out of his car with a bat, ready to confront him. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, there's no expectations to your privacy in public. Hey, man, don't do that. I'm going to have to mace you if you come over here, man. Don't do that. There's no expectations of your privacy. I'm over here. Hey, I'm recording. Hey, back up, man. I'm going to have to mace you. Get the out of here. Dude, it's public property. I could be here. I'm doing an audit for McDonald's. Okay, then stay in there. Roll up your windows. I can't see if you have your windows up. I'll give a f give me the up. camera is not good. If you roll up your windows, I can't see you. Hey, bro. I have to mace you if you do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's public property. Photography is not a crime, man. I'm not going near you, bro. Just go in your car and roll up your windows. I can't see. Go ahead, they can't do nothing about it. Public property. Photography is not a crime. I'm doing the audit for McDonald's. I am not here for you. I'm here to audit the McDonald's. Alright, almost got hit with a freaking bat, guys. I had to keep stepping back. Pulled out my mace. I'm an auditor, this is what it's about. It's an audit, this is what it's about. 
you, I can't see your kids. I have no idea there's kids in there. Like I said, you can't see them. Stop doing that. You're going to get arrested. You're, you're going to get arrested. You attack me. That's called assault. And it's being recorded. You, you're going to get your kids taken away for doing something stupid. I do not. All of this because some random guy was filming him in a drive through And on top of that, he is also holding up the whole drive through line, too. Your is timid. I can't see off your camera. I don't need to. It's public property. Get the yeah. And then you're going to have to go to court and pay for this. An audit for what? It's called the audit. First Amendment audit. Look it up. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. I wouldn't be able to see you if you had your windows up. The camera cannot record that good. Do whatever you want, man. Doing whatever I want. This is my job, man. Okay, I don't, and I don't care about you. Go on with your day, man. Got some onlookers over there, too. Really? Don't put your kids in danger. Just drive away. Don't put your kids in danger. You could get your kids taken away for assaulting somebody. Just go in your car and drive away. It's not worth it, man. Just drive away. Man, that got heated quick. Oh my God. Full saying I'm recording his kids. You can't even see his kids with the tinted windows. The guy's a lunatic. And not even a, a couple of seconds, I come over here and this fool's already getting all mad saying to call the cops. I'm saying, go ahead and call the cops. The fool's a psycho, man. Now I'm gonna have to watch my back. Man, I'm gonna go live on this one, man. Crazy. I'm not going anywhere. It's, pr it's public property. I could be wherever I want to be. It's a free country. It's okay, and then you'll be charged for assault, and you could get in trouble, and your kids could get taken away. There's no expectation to see a privacy in public. It's not a crime. Learn your laws. Let's witness this showdown between Karen and Kevin. Kevin, who is recording this encounter, attempts to pay for his food with $2 bills, but the Karen behind the counter refuses to accept the money. RB's refusing to take U.S. currency. And I'm sorry, your name, because you have a name tag, you don't have uh, policies pertaining to name tags? No? Oh, I guess I'm being ignored. Again, Texas Constitution, refusing to take cash. How long is it going to take? Call the cops if you want. Just so they can embarrass you? Okay. No, I don't have to. I'm waiting for the manager, Ms. Cervantes. Ms. Cervantes told me she was going to get me corporate in the GM. So do that, right? If you're so miserable at your job, girl, do something else. Okay. Talking. Oh, is that, is that, uh, is that, oh. Oh, okay, good. Wow. Oh, civil rights? No, not when you're at work because you have policies and procedures. You have rights when you're outside of work. Uh, Felicia, I'm waiting for the number. So, bye to you, Felicia. I uh, never knew her, but obviously the one that knew you was very disappointed. Oh, no, I'm not miserable. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, excuse me. I'm sorry that your pants don't fit you as well as they should. That's your miserable. That's your miserableness. I'm waiting for Cervantes to give me the info. And wait for PD to come. And I have you recorded on everything. See how that goes when I put you on YouTube. And check out my channel on YouTube, too. <laughs> See what they think about your little words. Be punking for a $14 sandwich, please. Oh, here, let me commit a federal crime with a bunch of $2 bills. 
May I have the number, senorita? Oh, she's gonna give me the number. Good, thank you. I'm still waiting because I'm I'm being accused of committing of of an attempt to commit a federal crime. <laughs> Here we have a scene where supposedly the story is that this Karen stole Kevin's phone. So Kevin's solution is to barricade the door so she nor anyone else can escape. Let's take a look. Hello. Let me call you back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't give a f keep telling this stupid mother. I huh? Today I'm old. What's that up again? No, yes, I know. This guy's not happy with his ice drink, and when he asks for a refund, the crazy worker starts arguing and even throws in some cuss words. Camera. Before you pulled out your camera. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, you, you're telling me I lost the money. I'm telling you, icy. you spent your money on an icy that you have in front of you, uh -huh. and you didn't like the taste of it. So you're it's kinda, acting like it's a four-year-old. It's actually kind of it's actually kind of water mall, in the center of the mall here. You're acting like a four-year-old. You pulled out your phone, and you're trying to I don't know what you're trying to do. If you're trying to be aggressive, passive aggressive, not get at all. Another free drink. Not, no, but I'm, we don't want a free not, drink. Yeah, you just asked for. We just want a refund. We want a refund because we don't offer. Okay, how about an exchange? How about an exchange for a Coca-Cola? As I said multiple times before, I'm not exchanging it for a Coca-Cola. You can throw it away if you choose to do so. Okay. But I'm not giving you a refund, and I'm not exchanging it. You're getting on my nerves. I told you now, you need to either leave, throw it away, or I'm calling security. You call security. Okay. This Karen, unsatisfied with the service at this restaurant, starts berating the workers and causing a scene because she can't get her cream cheese, to the point where even her son tries to calm her down. This Kevin is harassing a teenage worker in the store and the poor teen just couldn't take it and quits his job on the spot while this Kevin just laughs proudly about the whole thing. Can you get somebody just else check the price. It's $5. Uh, All of this is over $5. We have to check price. You said no. I, 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 I didn't say no. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I, just said, I just said, can you get a picture now? Me? And you made a big deal out of that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I did. Know. I just said you get a picture for me. You made a big deal out of that. I don't know. Listen to you, dude. You work here, buddy. You should um, Hey, see what I'm saying? Andrew! Andrew! Pops, go! Andrew, go sit in Matt's office right now. Good. You should quit. Then I'll come. What? Are you going to assault me? Yeah. Andrew! Go ahead and assault me. Get out! 
Explain the song. You want to get Juvenile Hall, probably? I'm going to go to 16. Andrew! Andrew! You don't call me a fat. That guy is nuts. <laughs> He's having a big issue. I am so wow. We just wanted to check a price on something. Right. Wow. Can you bring this customer out, please? Um, I never, ever. After waiting in line at a Walmart, this guy noticed that a lady had pushed in front of him, so he tapped her on the shoulder to let her know that she cut the line. This customer then completely snapped at this other customer, demanding that he leave the store immediately and started screaming at everybody. Let's have a look. What? I didn't touch you, I man. Well, no one did that. It's okay. It's okay. I just can't. Is this a prank? I can't. He won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's a problem. I need to leave? No, no, just no. Walk away. no take I still place. got, I still got, okay. Yeah, she threw some place. of my stuff. Okay. You know, just Where is she still? I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. You're not sorry. Well, she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. Yeah. I didn't see you. To make it. Oh, I just stuff. asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just go. Leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it loud. Let's just walk up. I'm just talking. Walk up to you. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Just walk up to you. Walk up to you. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Just, just to calm everything down. This Karen was belittling this staff member and just talking down on her when another customer decided to intervene and call out this Karen. That's when this Karen stated that it's none of her business and she did not like being talked down to and called out for it. Which is very hypocritical considering this is exactly what this Karen was doing to somebody who also didn't want to be talked down to. At this McDonald's, this guy hands over $10, and as he receives his change, a few pennies fall to the ground. When the employee asks him to pick them up, he refuses and insists on getting his $10 back. At this McDonald's, and um, I just give him, gave him a 10 he just dropped all the change on the floor. So he's telling me to pick it up, and I said, no, I'm not going to pick it up. And I asked him to give me my $10 back, and now he said no. And he's just serving people in front of me. See, he's serving people in front of me, and he's refusing to give me my change back. And they are in there laughing. I'm what just, I'm drop? just asking me to get, to give what me my, I'm just, he, he dropped it. I don't How know what, much did he drop? I just need my $10 back. So I'm just asking my, I was asking for my money back. You want everything back? I just want my money back. That's okay. it. So that's what I was asking. So I don't know why he was doing that. You want to do that because you're crying about I'm not I crying. Know. I'm not crying. And I'm not your bro. And I'm not your buddy. No, I'm not. You bro, you can't pay you get the back of I, I use any cuss word toward you. I'm professional. I'm professional. I'm not crying. I'm being professional. And I'm being quiet. I give you your money back, please. Can you move? Because there's cars behind you. That's how. That's how you're supposed to be talking. I'll, I'll deal with it. You got your don't, money back. Don't start yelling at so, me. So please move, because I need to take care of those. How will we be moving? Witness the dramatic freakout that unfolds at a local pizza joint. You got more with no clothes back here, mixing up pizzas. Look at her. Look at them. They got pepperoni and supreme. Well, do something.
One, two, three. You guys all got no clothes on. No clothes. This Karen is making a scene in the parking lot, acting all tough in an argument with a lady. But when the lady doesn't back down and confronts her, we can see that Karen didn't appreciate being challenged. You're walking away. You're a liar. You're afraid. You Go. walk away every time You're I come near you, bitch. Do it then. Please come do it. I'll Please. stand right here. Please. I'd love to call I would love for you to do something. I can stand and let you punch me. I would love for you to do something. Go ahead. You're embarrassing. I'm not embarrassed. Poor lady. I probably, I you're really good at this. Close. You can tell you're really good at this. I really don't care. You're just standing here really leaning up against the thing. How fat are you? Go and do your thing. You need to go ask your money. Go get a gun. Get a gun to go ask for your drugs. Go. Are you still standing here? Join us as we uncover an astonishing encounter involving Karen's sheer laziness and entitlement on full display. Despite being informed of the guidelines of this food service, she stubbornly demanded the delivery driver bring her food to her doorstep. Unable to contain his frustration, the driver snapped and resorted to hurling the food in Karen's direction. Take a look. Hello. Are you coming to collect your food? Um, yeah, but can you come and bring it up? No, I can't. Can you come and collect it, please? No, I need you to bring it up, please, because it's cold. COVID guidelines. COVID guidelines. I can't come. COVID guidelines. Yeah, but I'm cold, though. Everyone's been putting it up what? there. I'm cold. Everyone's been putting my food upstairs. I don't care. I'm not everyone. I'm Deliveroo. Yeah, but some Deliveroo as well, darling. You're no different. I'm, can you see the badge? Can you see the badge? I'm professional. You're no different, darling. I need my food upstairs, I'm please. Food. Come on, get it. I'm not going up there. You think I'm walking on those stairs? No, because I need my food upstairs. I ordered it. I'm not going up. I'm not going downstairs, darling. No, I'm not going downstairs. No, but bring, bring my food up. What's wrong with you, man? Come on, collect it. You've got your donut kebab and your, your, your nuggets. Please come and collect. Yeah, but I told you that I am cold. You are the delivery driver. Can you just come and collect the food? You are the delivery yeah, driver. Just, just come and get let your food. I'm not coming. I'm not coming there. I'm you are the delivery driver. Are you stupid? Yeah, go on. Go on. I'm recording. Go on. Go on. Go on. Recording. Go on. Try eat my food. Go on. Go on. Big man from delivery. Yeah, go on. Eat my food then. Man. Yeah, go on. You are not Yeah, yeah. Eat that. Yeah, I'm zooming on your face. Yeah. Wow. You mother. Take I hope you get fired. Oh yeah. For... <gasps> yeah actually, wow. You can make me come upstairs. Are you? Are you? A, are you normal? Are you a fool? You're a fool. Are you stupid? You dirty you mother. Up? Get oh, out of here. I, I, I will come downstairs and beat your ass up. Stop, 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 stop. You're too much. You're too... I will come get you in a minute and beat you up for doing that. Idiot. Who are you anyway? Who do you think you are? Look at the badge. I'm a professional. It's your job. It's your job to bring food. That's I'm what you do, isn't it? I'm the king. No, you're not. You, 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 you can't even do your job right. What is this thing? Throw my food and that. You're stupid. I'm a professional. I ate your food. What are you going to do? Not see. You're an idiot, man. Keep going, man. Keep doing your deliveries, you woo. Stop, 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 stop giving me nonsense. I don't want to hear you. Yeah? Get out of here, man. Get out of here with your foolishness. Go. I don't you're care. Crazy. I don't you're crazy. losing your job today. You know what I mean? I thought I'd come collect the food. She doesn't want to come. Uh, we are for. Yeah, tired for. Can you see? I'm not coming yet. You have to come here. You are, you are tired for. Can you, can you tell her? She's talking too much. She's just telling me, come upstairs. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you.
Do your job, man. Do your job. It's your job. You got one job. One job, mate. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Boris said, can you imagine? Just tell her. She's very silly. Very silly. Very silly woman. Bye. This crazy Karen breaks into a kitchen, starts screaming at the workers, and goes on to make her own coffee. And just when you think it can't get wilder, she accuses them of being racist and starts wrecking everything in sight. Get out of here! I don't want to make my right, right. Call the police because I'm not getting back out of here until you call the police. Call the police, Jack. Preminder. Call the police. 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 You're racist and you're wasting my time. Call the police. Black Lives Matter. Call the police. I'm not gonna hit anybody. Shut the fuck up, you guys. Call the police. Make my f walk. You guys think I'm a joke. Oh yeah, because you're racist! So I'll make my own coffee. I'll make my own coffee. Call the police. Here's your two f***ing dollars, you stupid racist. And the three of them tried to sell I'm inside making my f***ing coffee like Tim Hortons told me to, you stupid f***. Fuck you, f*** you guys all up, you stupid Keep filming me. I have you on camera being racist, you stupid Now I'll never come back here. This know-it-all manager found himself in a hated confrontation with another employee when things escalated quickly. They went back and forth between each other in their faces before claiming all sorts of nonsense towards each other and the other party even threatening to quit as it was her second job. Let's have a look. I want you to go home. I don't care if I have to be here just for Stop trying to clock back in. I want you to clock out and leave the store. What you gonna do about that? Huh? What you gonna do about that? I'm gonna call Ms. Cheryl and tell her to get you. Oh, no. You must get some pot or something. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God, man. For real, like, stop playing with me on the cool. Because you don't even supposed to be here. All the money you just sold. Oh, my God. What you complaining about? Oh, my God, girl. Just get the fuck I'm not. What you gonna do? I'm not. No, we, okay. Exactly. I'm You're not getting any hours. I'm not worried about no hours. You ain't gonna make me leave. This is my second job. Y'all must leave me. If you wanna be technical, like, don't play with me because I would do everything. Okay, well, just what? go. Just go, man. I'm not going nowhere. Like, I'm cool. I will make my dog do a fist up. For what? You know he will. For what? You know he will. So for stop what? Oh, I don't care if he will or not, girl. Okay, okay. I want you to what? leave what? and I want you, you to leave now. I'm not. That's the whole point. What you gonna do if I know? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you out the clock anyway. I'm not hurting the clock. I'm clocking back in. You ain't gonna clock back in, girl. You ain't gonna clock back in. Come on, man. I'm trying to deal with you. 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 I'm this customer was inside the fish and chip shop when she was denied service and requested a refund. However, the owners refused to provide the refund or give her the food, leaving the customer angry. The situation quickly escalated into a heated screaming match between the customer and the store owner, becoming highly confrontational as they got face to face. Let's have a look. Recording you. Good. I'm glad. You're my 
being recorded too. Cool. Yeah. Look at you. Because we want our food and our money. Now we've asked you to leave. We Where's our money then? We've asked you to leave. Where's our money? We're waiting for food. We haven't misbehaved. Listen to you. You're bipolar, mate. You're bipolar, mate. <laughs> See you are. Yeah, have your Oh, I got it on that thing. Now you don't even know. Oh, we got it on camera. We got it on camera. Oh, we got it on camera. Camera records, you know. So does my phone. You are a horrible person. Horrible people. Because you're treating them like. You. Who am I treating like? Your customers. You got nothing to do with you. So what? Well, get out. We're customers. We're waiting for our food, mate. Jesus, listen to listen that to language. It. Yeah, I know. Listen to the language. What a delightful old language. you are. You are so oh, shameful. Oh, am I? Am I hiding? Am I hiding? Yeah. Am I? Am I? Give me my money. 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 Well, I would like a refund, please. This woman found a roach in her daughter's Happy Meal. When she walks in to confront the staff and prove what she's saying, she is nothing short of hysterical. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, Kayla. I want to eat here. There's a roach in here. I'm swear. Look, lift up the napkin. Excuse me. Excuse me. Lift up this napkin. Lift up the napkin. I gave it to my baby. This Kevin refused to follow the rules in a pizza shop, leading to him being denied service and asked to leave the premises. However, he had a total meltdown while refusing to leave the store. As a consequence, not only did he leave without pizza, but he also received a ban from the store after verbally abusing the staff. Let's take a closer look. Tell me what you just told me. Wear a mask. Uh, can I get a pizza, please, or can you call the owner? No. I'll can I get a pizza, please? No. Can I get a pizza, please? I'm in here. Can I please get a pizza or can you call your manager? Call the manager, please. Can you please call the owner? Can you call the owner? You don't get to ask me to wear a mask. I don't care what you want. You need to do your job. Please do your job. Please do your job. No, you're not. There's no law. That's not the law. Show me Show me the bylaw. There, you just, you just lost another one. Oh, Lord. Can I get a pizza, please? Can I get a pizza, please? Can you call your manager, please? Can you please call the owner? Please. Can you serve me a pizza, please? Can you can you serve me? So you're discriminating against me. Is that what you're saying? What am I discriminating against? Can you serve me, please? Can you do your job or can you call a manager, please? Wow, you don't, wow, good customer service. I can't believe this. What's your, what's the number to your manager? Take a look at this Kevin's disruptive actions inside the store, where he yells at workers and engages in physical altercations. Fortunately, the worker fought back, and Kevin faced the consequences. Bag here, and what? Tesco's in the Dublin Road, what? right? Look at his face, get this viral, right? Right, get this viral. I have my pup in this store, right? The pup, somebody was messing, somebody touched my dog and a battle dropped out of me. Come on, big lad. Who the f*** 
Do you think you're a person? I swear to God. Who do you think you're a person? Yes, get the police and get the CCTV. This will be going viral. This will be going. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Who do you think, do you, think you, are? you are? I'll tell you what. I'll drop you. Get away from me. Get away out of my face! You've been warned! Step away before I defend myself! Step away before I defend myself! You step away! I tell you now! I tell you now! You wanna start me? Cause I will Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off Oh, put my dog. Get the f my dog. Thank you very much. Get out of here before I drop you. Oh! I'm holding the picture. Get the f out. Yeah, just. what? Get out. You need to be not happy here. This entitled customer insisted on getting his coffee, disregarding the rules everyone else followed. As a result, he was denied service and asked to leave, which he refused to do. Instead, he became extremely aggressive with the employees. The situation escalated when this entitled customer threw a big temper tantrum, tossing products around the store and knocking everything off the counter and register. Let's take a closer look. What do you mean, the, the safety to that man in no mess? When? No, no, what, after the governor got kicked out? Always governor. No, 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 I want to hear this, I want to hear this, let's go. Who, who, who made the mess? Who? The signs don't mean nothing. The signs don't mean nothing. Can you just, you know, make my go? This lady walks in and catches her boyfriend with another girl in the store. She starts screaming and throws her drink at him. Let's have a look. Check out this Karen who uses racial slurs and even makes a threat to strike the clerk at Dollar General. Oh yeah, baby, I will. This time you're black, I mean you're that. Okay. Well, let's see then. Well, we'll see. Baby, shut up. I know, that's why you're a mother. Bitch, she done caught me a Thirty goddamn minutes, and you told me twenty. And then you're running your mouth. Come on. All you gotta do is wait outside until I get off work. That's all you have to do, sweetheart. All you gotta do. I promise. You know what? I know. That's all you gotta do. You're big dog, ain't you, honey? No, 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 no. No, I'm 
Yeah, she can't see the manager. The yeah. She let everybody know. Yeah. She let everybody know. There's no sense in that. Huh? All you gotta do is slap me. I'm not going to jail for you. Oh, okay then. Well, have a great night. But I will be back in That's tomorrow. That's fine. You can't you better you better you better be back. Back. All right. So you will be you in trouble. You have a blessed night. You have a blessed night. Okay. Okay. I'm scared. A blessed night. Okay. Have a Sorry, blessed y'all. night. Have a blessed night after a rude. Have a blessed night, love. Thank you. Okay. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night. My man does. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night. This lady had purchased some items and left the store. On her way out of the store, she noticed that an employee was actually following her and also taking pictures. This customer became very confused and asked the employee what she is doing, and apparently this employee accused her of stealing. This employee believed she had put an item up on the counter and stolen it. Let's have a look. Over there, I didn't steal. It's literally, it's not in my pocket. Go look at the video. I didn't take anything. Something like that, I don't Cause obviously you need it. I didn't take it. Go check your videos. I didn't steal from you. Go look at the counter. I left it there. Go look at your video. There's nothing there. Where did you leave it on the counter? I left it on top, literally where, right in front of where she gave it to me. Okay, can you apologize for accusing me of stealing? Because I didn't steal. I did not steal from you. I didn't accuse you of that. I never said you stole anything, but I said it's not on the counter. Okay, well, I don't have it. I told you I don't have it. I don't appreciate you coming out here and taking pictures of me. I can come out here and do whatever I want. Okay, great. Okay. So can I, but I'm not right. stealing from you. All right. I didn't, didn't take it. I never said that you were. I would like for you to go check your cameras. I don't want to go check my cameras. The product that 
This guy was trying to get some drinks and the bartender was giving him a hard time because he didn't believe that his military service card was a valid form of ID, but legally it was. And for this reason, this bartender actually took his ID, refused to give it back, and then even cut it up as he was so certain that it was a fake ID. This ended up actually being illegal. Let's have a look. Yeah. It's a real ID. I don't understand sure what that? That is. That Dude, it's so, all real. Okay. Don't let me, let me call my boys uh, in a minute. We've been, we've been to Iraq and Afghanistan. You don't even look old enough to know about 11. You're so right. Get the out of my house. Get the out of my house. He needs his ID. You can't lie to me. It's like a passport, you dumb. Have you seen a credit card? Yeah, I've seen a credit card. Yeah, but yet you can't peel the filament off. No, you can't. Peel, peel that all you want. Peel that one all you want. Peel, peel that one all you want. Peel that one all you want. Peel that one all you want. I'm giving you credit cards. Look, dude, you I'm said, not show me a credit card. I'm not trying to cards. You're right. I'm telling you. You said, show me a credit card. It's you said you could peel these off too. Wait, what? What can you peel off? You want to peel some off of that? Here, peel, peel some off of that. See if you peel some off that. That's my social security card. Here's, I'll give you my library card. Peel some off of that. You're telling me that my Missouri ID card is more secure than a military ID? It's not secure. It's more don't worry. Don't, don't, don't what do you mean it's not secure? There's no shipping. That's not even a comment. Yeah. Not what do you mean there's no secure? It's just not shipping. Like, like you're telling me that I. Karen jumped to conclusions and assumed the customer had monkeypox, but turns out the only thing contagious was her bad attitude. Hey, this is Tanya. Um, I accidentally thought a customer had that new monkeypox disease out there. No, uh -huh. she didn't. So I said I was sorry. Well, she starts staring at me. I'm asking her to leave. She's refusing to leave. And she's recording me as we're talking. So. Call security yeah. or independently department if she refused to leave. If she's threatening you or if Yeah, she's um, telling me to physically move her. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. Now she's holding my line up so I'm letting me out cash out. I told her I'm not cashing her out. So she's blocking where I'm at. Okay, call the Okay. Alright, thanks. Alright, you Okay. Oh, Lord. But it is a bummer, though. No, I know. And I said, sorry. But on the phone, you didn't say sorry. What yes, you I said, did. oh, you have the new virus that's going around. You said, yeah. I have the monkey pox that I need to leave the, the store. You said, that you said I and need so to I leave. Said, I'm sorry. It's, it's Right, right, that I need to leave. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tanya Potter. I work at the um, Cuscates Mall on Five Below. I have a customer here that's giving me a problem leaving my store because I thought she had that new disease out there, monkeypox. And so I told her I was sorry for thinking that, but it was burns, I guess, on her face. And she swore at me, she's swearing at me, she's um, holding up my line, she won't leave the store. So my head boss told me to call this. She's here, she's recording me, she's refusing to leave. Because you'll be in a car. Uh, Guyanese. Uh, I'm not Guyanese. Um, yeah, you are. Um, yeah, she is human, everything. Pink sandals, army pants, a brown purse. She's either Guyanese or Indian. Well, I asked Tanya Potter. I told her I was sorry. You didn't say you were sorry. You said I have the monkey pox and I need to leave the building. I don't know. I was like, you need to leave now. Alright, thanks. Bye. Hey, you guys gotta figure out all security because I don't know that. Yeah. This is not gonna be me in my position. Put it down over there. I have put it down because as soon as they cast out, they're gonna leave. And I'm not gonna have nothing to go on with the cops. 
Right? He'll be she's on social media. Well, you know, there's a lot of people go on. She's not refusing to support her. Yes, they're together. She's separate from me. I'll cash that out. Uh-huh. She was getting this stuff. That's fine. I'm not cashing out her stuff. I'm buying from the store. I'm not keeping it. No, you. I'm going to cash you out. Your stuff that you just bought. Yeah, I'm paying Not for hers. It. It's going to be $14.50. I didn't, I didn't add the rope box. You got to add it. She just told me I got monkey pox and I need to leave the building because of my face. I have keloids. Yes, um, this is Tanya Potter. I work at Five Below. Um, I have a customer here that I thought had that new disease called monkey pox, but it turns out it was a burden on her face. I said I was starving. She started swearing at me. I told her to leave. She's refusing to leave. We're having a big scene here. She's reporting me on Facebook. I already called the police. So can you please send somebody over here? All right, thanks. Bye. Next person. Is that for the next person? Let me get the lawnmower and I'll, I'll take care of you last, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. She's blocking us. This worker at the drive thru messes up the pricing, but he owns up to it and apologizes. But this Karen is not ready to let it go. She starts arguing with the worker, harassing him over the mishap. Okay, so what I'm asking is how, how, much, how much is the ranch? $1.62 altogether. So is it twi- I'll, have, I'll have your receipt. Is it 20 cents a piece or 11 cents a piece? Because you told me 20 cents a piece, and I told you that I always pay 11 cents. I've never paid 20 okay, cents yes, for rent. you're right, ma'am. I was wrong. It's $1.62 Okay. Altogether. You said that's not your manager? I am the manager of this Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just, um, what, what's the store manager's name? So I'm going to call in in the morning. I mean, you were completely rude to me. I try, I, yeah, the customer is always right. And if I told you that I never pay 20 cents for ranch, then that's what it was. I don't pay 20 cents for ranch. You sat here and argued with me and told me that, no, ma'am, it's 20 cents. And it's I 20 said, yes, cents. you're right. I was wrong. But, you, but sir, if you're a manager, you should have known that in the first place. How much rent is. And I'm then, sorry, then you said it's a lot of ranch for fries. You did say that too, correct? You said that's a lot of ranch for fries. Yep. Hello? Uh, no, no, we don't. I, no, I don't want any extra sauce. It's, I, I, it's butter. Uh, I five butter. Um, but yeah, you said that's a lot of. But and, and my thing is, it shouldn't matter if I'm gonna pay for it. It shouldn't matter if I want 20 ranch. I'm paying for it. Right. So if I want to okay. put 30 ranch on my fries, I have that right. Okay, so it's a dollar sixty-two. No, I want my. I'm, no, I gave you a dollar. I'm. I'm. You can cancel the order. You can just give me my money back. The manager's name's Josh. Have and, a good night. And just so you know, I just want to make sure you don't. I recorded this whole conversation, so I hope you're gonna be happy with. Your man, and I do, all I want is my ranch. I don't want the fries. I'm pay, I want the ranch. So you can charge me for the ranch. Go ahead and charge me for the ranch. You can go wash your hands. You just killed a bug and you're working in a restaurant. So you can go wash your hands and then give me my ranch. Or you can have the gentleman in the back give me the ranch. I am literally recording this. You have no idea. Like this is gonna go to your corporate manager. This is literally gonna go to the corporate. I might even put this on Facebook. Seriously, dude. This is this is the Jack in the Box on. You guys just will witness. This is the Jack in the Box on All right, Spencer. Uh, I I don't. You didn't wash your hands. You're in a restaurant. Do you really think I want you to touch my food? Well, the, the your coins that you're gonna give me are probably just as dirty. So I'll wash my hands after everything. You pay. Are you being serious right now? What is uh, and and you can lie about your name because it's being recorded. But what is your name? Oh my gosh. Forget World Star. Y'all, this is the Jack in the Box. Literally, the Jack in the Box on Spencer and Mexico Road. I cannot believe it right now simply because I. Karen refuses to wear a mask at the restaurant, claiming it's because of her so called medical condition. He I can't has, hear you. you Say know, that again. He has. The, that's what you should ask first what that's about because he has an issue. He has that's to saying, wear it like that. He can't wear it. You know what? No, no, you know what? Let's go somewhere else. Because that's not what you're supposed to do. I work for the so health I got department. A, I, got I know a that. Condition. Come on, let's just go somewhere else. <laughs> Can I see your boss? No, no, hold on, no. Can I see your boss? Let me see a, let me see a, a manager. Let me see a manager. Somebody who's over you. 
Come on. So you, so you, who else is in the back I can talk to? Who else is in the back I can talk to? Because I'm not leaving. Either you're going to order my food or you're going to, you going to fix my food or you're going to get your manager out the bed. One of the two. Not the way you saw me. Are you a manager, man? Stop talking. Are you a manager? Um, so it's only y'all two here? Okay. I have a breathing condition. Apparently, she's not educated on this right here. I don't have to have this over my nose. I don't have to. Are you refu are you refusing to make my food? No, he just has to work. He has, we to, have, we have to have. We have to tell people to put our ass. There's something that we have to do. Okay, I have a breathing condition. So what's next? Do you have a doctor's appointment? Yes. Do you have a breathing condition? Yes. Do you have a doctor's appointment? 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 Yes. If you have a health condition that keeps you from wearing it over your face, come on. No, 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 no. I'm ready to go. Let it, let it keep going. Up in somewhere else. Because they don't know. What is your I'm name? Excuse me. What is your name? Smart. What is your name? I'm not even sure. Jezebel. What's your name, man? What's your name? said it like I should know. That's she that's should it. know if I. If Her I'm name is Jasmine. You, that's all. And your name is Jazabelle. Jazabelle and Jasmine, right? Oh, you know that's not a real name. So why are we just saying that? Oh. Challenge. You're not gonna make oh, my food, okay. man. I have a breathing condition. That's why I had a mask no, above no, my no. nose. You are you refusing to make my food? Are you refusing to make my food? In that bag over there. I'm being ignored here at Subway. I have a breathing condition, and these two females are refusing to make my food. I can read. This is a this is a this is a one person consent state. That you say that's what the f you about to go do. You 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 are very unprofessional, and you are a Subway employee. You cursing at me? <clears throat> I'm just trying to get my food made. I got a breathing condition. I'm just trying to explain to you this is part of my job, and it's a sign on the door that says you have to have your mask up. And I understand you have a health condition, but I can't do nothing for that right now at all. Okay, so are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to make my food? Yes, I am. Okay, that's all I want you to do is make my food. Are you refusing to be rude about the English part though. You've said it a couple times and it is rude. Stay out of it. You're being rude. No, that is rude. I'm so sorry you guys are being treated that way. I'm sorry that you have to interject. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Got it. You didn't get home with the wrong order last week. 
I Go ahead. You're the one being rude to them because they're of a different ethnicity. Yeah, what is your problem? You should, they shouldn't even serve you any food. You are being rude to them. You don't start, start in on somebody. <laughs> then don't be rude to them because there was... I don't have to. I'm not scared of you at all. I don't care, and I'm not scared of you. You don't need to be rude to them because they're Mexican. You should, go somewhere, you should go, go somewhere else. Why? Are you Hispanic? You have a problem with this? So am I. Uh, really? Are you kidding me? You're what's wrong with this world. Thank you. This lady had parked her vehicle on the side of the road, and there was not enough room behind her for another car to park. There were plenty of parking spaces just down the road, but the guy behind her decided to hit her car in an attempt to budget forward a few inches, which would give him enough room to then park his vehicle. Let's have a look. Currently touching my vehicle. Why is it okay to hit my vehicle to get me to move? How is that okay? There's a whole street. You don't have to park right here. That's not on me. I don't have to move, and you don't get to hit me. That's great, but I'm not obligated to move. You don't know why I'm waiting here. Nobody's obligated to do a nice thing. And no one's obligated to hit my car because I won't move out of your way. Are you punishing him for touching your car? He hit my vehicle, sir. That's not me punishing anybody. That's not the point. You don't get to play bumper cars to get what you want. He can park. That's if he, if I did, he could, but that's not what this well, is. Don't you? you don't get to physically hit my car. So it's punishing. So you're like, How am you're I like punishing, punishing anyone for touching your car? How am I punishing anyone because, because you hit my moving, vehicle? Because you're, you're, not, not, you're not moving. Your, you, you, you're in not what universe is that an acceptable response? You just shove people out of your way when you're waiting in well, line and they don't move. We're waiting for you to move. Why? There's other places why to park. Will, you don't know why I'm parked what here. What will it do if you move your car too? I think That's not the point. Car. What is the point? There's other places to park. You do not get to hit my vehicle with your car because, ma'am, you moved me twice. I have a dash cam. I have a recording back here. I saw you hit my car. I felt my vehicle. Yeah. I'm full. Anything, because you hit my car? Did anything happen to your car? That's not the point. <laughs> In what universe is it acceptable Nothing to play bumper cars car. with real vehicles? You have, you know, yes, I'm the unreasonable one. Day, you know? I will. Thank Just, you for hitting my car. You know, maybe take some pictures. This is all on camera, spot. just so you know. 